going up here. But there's a good spot to put in over there too. It's been a while, you know, since I've used this one, but I felt like that one was easier if, like, if I shifted my hips, like the paddle. Mm -hmm. It just seemed like it was more easy. It is, because any time, that is super flat bottom, so there's not a whole lot of, you know, roll to it. And when you go over rocks, that ends up being a lot easier because that one, because it's got the V-Hall, will often tip you one way or the other. And the Pelicans are even worse that way. Chris, you putting your spray skirt on? There's plenty of spots where you can go do just fine. And if not, we'll collect your stuff. Jay went over there and it was a smoother descent. This one is where I went and it was a lot of fun. If you end up liking this video, then please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Because I need your help. I need to get more subscribers. I'm going to do this anyway, but it would really help out. So I'm actually going to talk about why Jason ended up swimming here. Partly because, well, it's kind of funny, <laughs> and, and it's it's Jason, so he's totally cool with it. But also, there's a few things that you can actually learn from this you one. The front of it? As he gets into it, you can see that as he goes over the dam, he's actually lined up pretty well. He's just a little bit off his line and ends up going a little bit sideways. Now, the initial correction, he tries to lean back, and that's perfect, but as soon as his handle comes off the paddle, that's when he's in trouble. You really do need to keep your um, paddle in your hands. Lean like he did, but use your paddle and push. Push it against the water. Your hand is not going to work, except in the very rare cases where you can actually touch the bottom. But as soon as you reach out your hand, it's over. Right. Now you had it. You started to use your paddle, you're like, I got this, I got this. Now at this point, there's nothing left to do but get the water out of your boat. And don't waste yeah, time trying to pump it out. Uh, Just get to the shore, and if you've got a plug, pull the plug, let it drain out. Otherwise, dump it, and hopefully you've got a friend, makes it a little easier to get all of the water out, but just just dump it. That's the same route I took the first time because that's the line that I saw when we Much water came up. No? Oh no. Yes. It looked like it looked like the perfect height for that. <laughs> Yeah, it lets a lot in right like, here. I can, but the water comes in not doing it, so. Yeah. I probably will try later. What works best is if he lets us push his boat and he just gets out. Looks 
like you're doing all right. Looks like you're doing okay now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, often it works best to just like let your boat go down and then they can help you. So I'm gonna send my boat down, but I'll help you empty this out because we're both standing. You want to take one end, so here, you take that end, or right here. You can just stay where you're at, and then uh, we'll try to lift it up and tip it, if it's light enough. Okay. You have anything that you don't want to come out? No, I didn't bring anything. Okay, <laughs> perfect. The reason I didn't bring anything. No problem. You got a paddle holder here, so. So what's you want, to walk it down there or get back in? I'd get in since you got some rapids here. You're lined up okay, so. How are you going to get back though? Oh, I'll just, I'll probably float. There <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> Keep it going straight down river if you can. Yeah. Oh sure, I'll ride on the back of yours. Oh. That's a good idea. Got this. Good system, I like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take a, a rock right there. <laughs> I just planted to float down with my life jacket. But... If you ever find yourself floating down the rapids, make sure that you keep your butt down and your feet out in front of you. And don't try to fight the rapids. Instead, just start swimming yourself to the side at an angle. You'll get there. <laughs> But it made it easier on me, so I appreciate that. Ah, the roll. It's really easy. All you need to remember, use your paddle, so line it up right, keep your head back, and snap your hips. Do two of those three things correctly, you should be able to get it. Okay, easier said than done. Here we go.
I felt like it was set up pretty good. If it doesn't quite go as planned, it's not a failure. It's a learning experience. You'll get it next time. That definitely was not like the professional, that's for sure. Another thing that every kayaker should know how to do is get into your boat from the water. Typically, you go up the back, like climb up the back and pull it underneath you. Or, in my case with this little one, I have to lift myself up from the side. I felt like I didn't get my hip snap at all. That, that was a massive fail. Ah. Alright, here I go. Oh, you did Woo! it! Woo! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? All right, Christine, let's see you do that. Uh, victory, <laughs> success. <laughs> I felt like my weight shift, and then when it went over to the other side, then I just went for it and. Whoop, that was right. <laughs> I feel like I took the good rapid, huh? Alright, the last couple tips for you beginning kayakers. Make sure that if you're going to go out and you're new to whitewater, you go out with some friends. For safety, but also just for a good time. Also, make sure that it's warm enough. Either the water temperature or the air temperature has to be warm enough because you might end up swimming. Yeah, this is I feel like you're lying. You made Honestly, days on the river don't get much better than this. This was just an awesome time. And you know what? Life's an adventure. So get out and live. Uh -oh. If you made get it this far, huh? make sure you share this with everyone you know and hit subscribe. Thanks, and have an awesome day.